Well, now that the preliminary report is out on UPS 2976, I've been reading the comments section and it's been blowing up with comparisons to 1979 and American Airlines Flight 191, a DC-10 that lost its left engine shortly after takeoff in a very similar fashion to UPS 2976. And so I thought it's time to put together a comparison video between the two incidents. I've got in front of me on the computer the full final report from the NTSB about American Airlines Flight 191 from 1979. I've got in front of me the, uh, the NTSB report the preliminary report that just came out about UPS 2976. They, this report that just came out this past week, uh, builds a bridge to American Airlines Flight 191. The page 11 of 12 of the preliminary report reads this way. On May 25th, 1979, about 15.04, that's 3.04 Central Daylight Time, American Airlines Flight 191 and McDonnell Douglas DC-10 aircraft crashed into an open field just short of a trailer park about 4,600 feet northwest of the departure end of runway 32 right at Chicago O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, Illinois. Flight 199 was taking off for runway 32 right. The weather was clear and the visibility was 15 miles. During the takeoff rotation, the left engine and pylon assembly, hold on to that because that's important, and aft three foot of the leading edge of the left wing separated from the airplane and fell to the runway. Flight 191 continued to climb to about 325 feet AGL and then began the roll to the left. The airplane continued to roll to the left until the wing, wings were past the vertical position. And during the roll, the airplane's nose pitched down below the horizon. At the end of this report, it says this, 